welcome to this second video of this uh, series in this video i'll be explaining this problem so let us see what is the problem is saying so in this problem it is given that a lossy dielectric so first information is it's a lossy dielectric has an intrinsic impedance of 200 with angle of 30 degree so eta is given here with angle of 30 degree and a particular frequency frequency uh, is not directly given at a particular frequency if at the frequency the plane wave propagating through the dielectric has the magnetic field component so here the magnetic field is given h and it has asked to find what is the e and what is alpha what is the e field and what is the alpha as well as it has asked to determine the skin depth and the wave polarization okay so let us solve this problem let us go to a new page and just uh, write the h uh, field that is given so it is given as 10 e to the power minus alpha x see the alpha value is uh, not given and it has asked to find it and cos of omega t minus 1 by 2 x a y amperes per meter so this is what given in the question right 0 0.5 i have written as 1 by 2 x for easy understanding so next is we have to find first place is what to find the e to find the polarization to find the alpha or the attenuation constant and the skin depth okay so to find the e first of all i need to know what is the direction of e so here you can see the direction of h field is given as a y or in the y direction so to find any direction so we need to know one thing that uh, that uh, you should remember this here i can write a x a y and a z okay so this is one thing another thing is a e a h and a k so what is this i am writing so basically so this is a cross product rule so if you cross product a x with a y then you will get a z if you do the cross product between a y and a z then you will get a x and if you do the cross product of a z and a x then you will get a, a y okay similarly so in e h field also so if you do the cross product of a e and a h then you will get a k and what is a k so a k is nothing but the propagation direction okay propagation direction and now a if you do the cross product of a h and a k then you will get a e if you do the cross product of a k and a e then you will get the a h now if you do the cross product of a y so if you do cross product of a y and a x then you will get what then you will get minus of a z if you do the cross product of a x cross a z then you will get minus of a y similarly if you do the cross product of a z and a y then you will get minus of a x similarly here also if a h cross a i a e is there then you will get the direction of minus a k so basically i am saying if you do a x cross a y then you will get a z but if you do a y cross a x then you have to do it as minus a z so that is what this uh, graph says so with this understanding let us go to the problem first so first of all we need to know that what is the direction of the e field okay so to know that first of all we need to know what is the a k here so what is a k so a k is nothing but the direction propagation so how do we find that so we can find it from this expression uh, we have done this previously also so this expression says omega t minus so we have to compare with the standard form of omega t minus beta z where z is the propagation direction okay so z is the propagation direction now if i compare with this then we are getting a k as how much a k we are getting as x here okay plus x remember positive x and your a h or the h field direction is what so this is the h field direction that is a y okay sorry a k is a x not x a y and we need to find what we need to find a e okay so how do we find that so we know that a e cross a h is equals to a k now what we know we know that a e we have to find it out cross a h 
So, A h is what? A h is A x is equals to sorry A h is your A y is equals to A x. Now, to get this expression, so how do I find that? So, here if I put see what cross A y will give you A x. See here A x is the result. Okay. Now, A y and A x is there. So, to get this A y cross A x is what? We are going in reverse direction. So, it is minus. So, A e should be minus. So, that is why here A e if I take that implies minus A z cross A y will give you A x. So, that is the relation. So, that is your A e is equals to minus A z. Okay. So, now we know that our E field direction is minus A z. Okay. Next is what? We need to find what is the different values. So, how to find? So, first of all, how the E field is represented? So, E field is represented as E naught magnitude E to the power minus alpha. So, we will uh, find the direction that is uh, A alpha x. So, why x here? Because the wave is propagating in x direction, it is not going to change. Cos of same form omega t minus beta z, so beta x here and <coughs> plus any if any your uh, phase difference is coming, we will see that and then a what here? We are getting a z minus a z we are getting here. So, here I will write minus uh, a z and here I will add the minus symbol. So, what we need to find? So, we need to find what is the E 0 value, what is the alpha value and beta value al already known that is 1 by 2 given here and theta value how much theta is coming. Okay. Now, how to find this E naught? So, firstly E naught divided by H naught that we know that is equals to your eta. Okay. So, what it is given? That implies E naught divided by H naught is equals to eta is given in the question how much? 200 with angle of 30 degree. So, we will take here 200 with angle 30 degree. Okay. So, that implies E naught is equals to what? E naught is equals to 200 and H naught is given how much? 10. So, into 10 and angle is there 30 degree. Okay. So, this can be written as 200. So, in polar form it will be written as E to the power j pi by 6. So, why pi by 6? So, basically 30 degree is nothing but your pi by 6. Okay. So, 30 degree is pi by 6. So, that 30 represents the pi by 6. So, here it is written like that. Okay. So, next is how do we find the? So, E naught is known now. E naught is 2000 with a phase difference of j pi by 6. So, here theta we are getting that implies I can write theta is equals to pi by 6. Okay. So, now next we have to find what is the value of beta. So, how do we find that? So, to find the beta sorry find the alpha. So, we know that beta value is equals to 1 by 2 in the question it is given. Okay. Now, we know that expression of alpha. So, formula for alpha is equals to omega into root over of mu epsilon by 2 into root over of again 1 plus sigma divided by omega epsilon minus this square minus 1. Okay. So, this is the exp expression of alpha. Now, what is the expression of beta? So, expression of beta is also very similar just uh, with. Okay. So, expression of uh, your beta will be that is equals to and only change here it will be plus that is it. This is the expression of beta. Now, while calculating the alpha, we do not know what is the omega value. Omega value is not given, mu epsilon is also not given. So, how do we calculate that? So, very easy. So, we just have to take the ratio of this. So, if I take the ratio of alpha divided by beta, so what will happen? So, we, we need to take this ratio first. So, in the ratio, you see one expression is the sigma by omega epsilon. Now, how do, we the, how do we find this sigma by omega epsilon? So, sigma by omega epsilon. So, that is equals to how much tan of 2 theta n. So, while take, um, in theory of uh, your instructing impedance, this expression is taken. Okay. Now, 
tan of 2 theta n so theta was how much we got theta we got pi by 6 right so if i put that is equals to tan of how much tan of 60 degree right theta is 30 so 60 degree and tan 60 is nothing but your root 3 okay so now if i put this root 3 value here where here so how the um, uh, now what will be the ratio so see in the ratio this this gets cancelled so if you take this ratio this gets cancelled this also get cancelled mu epsilon by 2 mu epsilon by 2 so only remaining part is this one okay so 1 plus sigma by omega epsilon is root 3 so the square is 3 minus 1 divided by 1 plus 3 plus 1 and their square root okay so that is equals to the upper one will be how much so this one is uh, 3 minus 1 two. so sorry yeah so if i put root 3 value here so root 3 square is 3 so 1 plus so here it is 1 plus 3 okay so 1 plus 3 square root minus 1 divided by 1 plus 3 square root plus 1 and their square root is there so this square root will be common there so that will be equal to how much 2 minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 square root that is equals to 1 by root 3 now 1 by root 3 so again alpha by beta is equals to 1 by root 3 so alpha will be equals to how much beta into 1 by root 3 so beta value we already know that is 1 by 2 so that is 1 by 2 root 3 so if i calculate this then uh, it will come as 0 0.2887 and remember you need to write the nepper per meter which is the unit of the attenuation constant so uh, finding out attenuation constant is also the question right so next is your delta value so delta is what delta is the uh, skin depth so what is the formula of skin depth that is equals to 1 by alpha that is equals to 2 into square root of 3 that is equals to 3.464 so while calculating you keep in mind so this square root is of this much only okay not the minus one here also square root of this much only not the plus one so it might be looking that it is up to here but it's not like that okay fine now we got the alpha value we got the delta value okay all these things so in the question alpha value is calculated skin depth is calculated that is delta and e field also we have written so e field is equals to e0 into e power minus alpha x so e0 value we got this one so you have to write it here so e0 value so let me just uh, write the e0 uh, exact value uh, what it is coming so here e is equals to minus so y minus see here because of minus z it is minus here minus 2000 into e to the power minus alpha x so alpha value we got uh, alpha value we got here how much yeah here so alpha is 3.464 right so alpha value is 3.4 sorry alpha value is 3 point uh, sorry alpha not uh, 0.2887 is the alpha value so here you can write the alpha value as well so minus 3.464 okay into x is given cos of cos of how much so same from the magnetic field you have to write so that is cos of omega t minus 1 by 2 x again plus 
the theta value theta value is pi by 6 and it is direction is minus ij as so minus sign is already here and it is volt per meter so that is the value of e field now so we have solved uh, this values e field we have calculated alpha calculated delta uh, this one also uh, delta or the skin depth is calculated next is what is wave polarization so what is the wave polarization so basically wave polarization so what is a wave polarization wave polarization is nothing but direction of the e field or the direction of the component of the e field in which direction it is oriented okay so the direction of e field is here what you see so direction of e field here is z direction or it is z direction right so here the polarization is so the answer to the last question the polarization we can write along z direction okay so this is the answer to the question so we have got all the answers so let's see the description video i'll post this pdf there and uh, you'll get the answers there as well so this will end this video and in the next video i'll solve another problem so thank you and uh, see the next video